already showed you, or showing you, I'm not sure what order I'm doing is in, uh, I guess we'll discuss how staples work. And just the underside reinforcement. You can add some, you add more steel, two, two, two different directions. You can see this is the existing floor, if you will. And then the extra concrete is added with the exterior rebar in multiple directions. That says promenade deck drain, parking deck drain, sort of like the stamp st staple system. I think that they're probably going to also rebar. The, oh, there's rebar there. I'm sorry. I see it there now. This one is a rebar going across. And there's your staple making it across from one side to the next. The staple, if you will. Now you'll find this in multiple places. Similar. I'm just giving you an idea how it works. I do not um, want you to think that that's the because this engineer that did these drawings. He's the one that determines exactly the intent of what of what it looks like, or what it's supposed to be. Um, let me show you. I thought there was one more. It was kind of interesting. It was nope. Give me a second. Pull it up. Nope. 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 All right. So that that's the that it looks like that's about the detail for that there. But I want to show you how you can do exterior reinforcement. Um, and you saw that was just two pieces dry fit, no epoxy. Epoxy would help make it a lot more stable system, including filling the voids, locking it in place. Here's a better detail of it. Bonded overlay. So remember the uh, that th this this engineer there they wanted to, he wanted to reach all the way back to twenty um, the, the original build nineteen seventy nine to blame the the the, the uh, architect engineers for not putting a pitch on the deck. Well, let, let's just say there's no pitch on the deck; it is flat. Well, why can't we come forward and blame the new tile the new tile guy the guy who did the, uh, put the stamped concrete down? And also the the brick pavers. Why is that guy not getting attacked? Because he should, that engineer contractor or whoever it was, should have put down a uh, a uh, vapor barrier, a uh, moisture barrier then, uh, moisture barrier then, a water barrier then. Here is again. Here's your exterior reinforcement. Here it looks like it's it's sectional, meaning uh, meaning a small section, and you can see how that works again. You just saw it work. So you would think there would be something, a stress up here that that they want to address, but it, I don't see a crack here. It seems like it's just extra reinforcement done there to help in that. Well, it's by a column. you think you would put some more shear links in here at that point. Something would be more of a shear design. This is, this is interesting, to say the least, at that location. I've got other tricks that would reinforce that with my with my way that I just showed you, the exterior um, staple, if you will. Exterior staple. Okay, what else do I have for you? The Let's go to the uh, comments. Let's see. So in comments, some things are being held back, but I wanted to see it, make sure this person's comment didn't get washed in the trash. I can see the video, it has horizontal lines, so I see, keep seeing that, and I'm like, you know what, oh, okay, no, that one's posted, that went through one hour ago, um, so go to hell, hell for review, because, she, where is she, she got, you got held up a couple times, I can't see the video, it's horizontal lines, connection problem, you could also try reloading the page, that helps, cool, um, so the, uh, where, there you are. Jess, look, Jess, your comment seems to you, you're one of the highest rate of people that get trash. Your comment doesn't go through. I don't know. I'm a, I wanted to do it live, so at least we have it. And Jess says, I'm a woman, and I know all too well about sexualizing construction work. Fun story for you. I work for a company building wood decks. Decks. She said decks. It was my first day on the job site, first day. When I arrived, it was clear the guys weren't used to working with females. They were all super quiet. I was literally hanging from a beam, cocking the, the seams. She was cocking the seams. Uh, it's caulking, right? But a lot of people say cocking. Some people say zinc. But she was cocking the seams. Cocking. Get the play on the words there. A huge glob of cocking fell right underneath my eye. I turned and looked at the guys and said, Hey, guys, I got cock in my eye. 
Needless to say, the uncomfortable silence was no more. All right, Jess, I'm posting that. You're outstanding for sharing. And I hope it goes through. I won't know, you know. I just don't know there. Um, all right, I, the rest I'll look at. I'll look in a minute and post them. I'll, you know, I'll run through these and post them. Oh, one of them I want to share. Um, uh, this is an hour ago. No, it was many hours ago. Somebody shared a link to me. Where's my man? Was it DOS? I think it was DOS. So bear with me, guys. I, I'll get to proving all this stuff that's being blocked. I got. I won't read this. I just approved it by Brian. Um, and I'll read your comment, Joe Brown. Uh, whatever. I didn't. It's nothing there. So glance. I just glean over it. Where's Joe Brown? Oh, uh, Chris, you and I are on the same page. I have another video coming for that. We'll, we'll wait for that. It's, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's Kata, Kata, Katashi. Katashi. All right, so, so what? I don't care if I pronounce the guy's name wrong. A couple people are triggered by that. Whatever. I'm calling the other guy Papa Smurf. You think I care about the, uh, the details of my name? Frank Morbido. You think I care about Morbello? More belly? More bello? More, more, more toasty? I don't care. More Morgatos, I don't, it, it's, it's the intent that matters. Names never bother me. When I when I read fast, I just know that, okay, this is the name, and I keep going. Morabito for you freaks. Morabella for me. Anyway, when uh, board members of the Champagne Tower South, this is about the conflict, were looking to someone to oversee a massive, somebody posted this, 7-5, they said. Um, Frank and his firm, Morabito, Morabito Consultants. He's the only engineer firm, wait a minute. This is at the meeting, so he goes, no, 2019, late 2019. I think they give a date. All, yeah, September 13, 2019. He's the only engineering firm that has already that already knows the building. Whoever this person is, I don't want to say their name because you guys get all fricked out. Who uh, chaired a committee, was the chairman, chairperson, focused on the project, focused on the project, wrote on the board, wrote to the board on September 13, 2019. She recommended it hire Morbido. So this person's a female, apparently. Bottom line, he can hit a he can hit the ground running, which is true. Which is true. This is where I tie in my previous video saying, hey, what do you guys think? And I wanted someone to find this content and get it. So Kat Katotashi, you you you're the winner. You found it. I knew about the content. I didn't know where it was actually, but I knew it existed that he was the the person that was chosen, as far as I understand, he was chosen to be the one that's going to running it, running the deal, the repairs, and he, and that's why I kept hitting on. Look, this guy says supports are needed, supports are needed, and and so all of a sudden now he's going to be running the project, and and if he did get the contract and he was running it already, including that roof, so we would need verification that he's the one that supervised that roof. That means that don't you think that he should have. Put those supports in the in the basement, in the uh, first floor garage. Not in hindsight, but because he knows the situation, how much he wants to support things. Um, what do you guys think of that? Now, uh, now the link is the name of this, it, so you can find it yourself. There's the link right there. Go find it yourself. I'm not going to give you the link to it. Go find it. There's the title. Google it and read it. Um, Basically, it's just what I said. That he and it turns out he's in main in lawsuits. That's what. That's what. Uh, anyway, you got to find it. Type, find it. Read it yourself. I. That was the end of my narrative of that. About that. So, yeah. So, I want to. I want to tread lightly here, but you have a homicide investigation. Some commenter said, not me. They said, oh. Does that mean the engine, the question mark, and they try to load a question, I didn't want to answer it. They asked me, does that mean the engineer would be, you know, negligent homicide? Because I guess he was implying, you know, that he, you know, well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. What he was, he did talk about was the engineer, um, negligent homicide. Now, I think I left one part of his comment up and another one, he went a little too, too far into it. And I was like, you know what? I'm not ready for that yet delete. So I deleted that part because it was too clear and I didn't want the way he asked it in the question, I did not want it to be the one dragged into that drama. So if you just make your comment, make it. But but don't make it look like I'm making the comment. I'm just I've already stated my position and some of my thoughts and you guys make your own conclusion. What do you think? 
What do you, what, what's your question? My conclusion, if I was a family member there, me as a family member, I would conclude that I would want that engineer to have supported that structure below since he was calling for supports anyway to do the repairs. And especially now I know the history that he worked on another structure where it needed supports. So I would have... I, I would be suing him personally if it was a family member, if I had lost someone. I would be suing him because I would feel like I would feel that he should have supported it. That's if when you know if this is true, if he was hired, if he did have that part of the hire. Remember, he's we don't know what his contract stated. Maybe he was only in it for the roof, and then they said, "Look, then we're going to evaluate you again because that could be it." You know, hey, and then we'll evaluate you for the next stage. Maybe the board broke it up into stages. Maybe you can't go after him because maybe the board told him, we want the roof done first, focus here first. We don't know. So that would be an out for him. So I'm like, really? The board, then the board is then the one in, in trouble again. So we don't know how he was controlled um, in the stages. But if he was let, let wild free, just go ahead and work, fix all the repairs, well then, I'm back to stage one again. That I'm saying, hey, yo, dude, you, uh, you, uh, you know what I'm saying. Bye.